Good morning, everybody. My name is Greg Schrader, and I'm coming to you here from Wardcraft. I'm probably most well known as a plastics rep here at Wardcraft. My main focus product has typically always been the plastic mailer, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Many people around here just know me as the mail guy. So um, hopefully I can help answer some questions and everybody gets something great out of this. Before we move forward, um, we are taking a lot of precaution here at Ward Crafts so that everybody is aware we are being safe. Um, we're wearing these nice badges that request people keep their distance. We're working on that social distancing. We have face masks available for when we need to go places and, and that, that we think that's a good need. We also um, taking temperature every morning, lots of sanitization. Uh, just doing everything we can to keep everybody safe and and so far as a company we're doing great in that area um, I, before we move on this is a week-long webinar series we're doing so uh, what i'd like to do now is put up a graphic that'll show you the webinars throughout the week we're having one at 10 a.m every day this week this being tuesday obviously i'm the second one um, yesterday amy covered laser member cards Today, I'm gonna to cover the plastic mailers. Tomorrow, um, Heather will be cover, covering the shipping solutions. On Thursday, Jessica will be covering plastic cards. And on Friday, Kim will be covering forms and labels. You will receive um, in your chat box, you should receive a link to sign up for any one of these you would like. And then, um, when, after this is over, everybody will receive some follow-up email that will give you more links. You can also go to any one of our LinkedIn pages, any one of the individual reps or Ward Crafts, and there will be links on those in order for you to sign up. Um, we can also email you links, so if you want to reach out to any one of us, we can do that. I want to start with a um, video that was created by our marketing team that will show you really what the plastic mailer is all about, and I want to start there. Okay, and, and that mailer did, or that video did such a great job on the mailers. Um, I think that that basically covered everything I'm gonna cover through this, um, but we're gonna go through it kind of step by step. Before we move forward, let me also explain um, the way this webinar series works. It is somewhat secure, meaning that none of the participants can see any of the other participants. So um, we did that and set it up that way so that we know we have resellers out there that are potential competitors of each other or may have a question but don't want to share that question in front of others. In your chat box, you can always enter a question. Near the end, we'll have a question and answer section and um, others will not be able to see those questions. So we'll answer them anonymously, getting you the answer. But then um, if you do have a specific question and we need to reach back out, we can always do that by email afterwards. But so moving ahead, the mailers themselves have always been my favorite product. And for those of you that don't know, I mean, I'm sure many of you have seen them, you get them in the mail. They're plastic cards that look like this, card breaks out of the corner. Um, we've got a variety of sizes and different breakouts, two cards, one card, key tags. Um, the reason why they're probably my favorite product is that over the years, since about 2012, 13, 
it's been by far the fastest growing product in the plastics division. It's taken the division to the next level. It's been the piece that people have gone out and been able to sell the best. And the reason why is it's a piece that just works. So once somebody uses the plastic mailer, typically what they find is the results are so good, they wanna keep coming back to it. So as a reseller, you get reorders. You get people that wanna do it again and again and again. And that's always something that we're looking for. So um, what I'd like to do first is just really discuss some of the markets and uses of the product and explain a little bit how it works. So I'm gonna put something on the screen now that will show you um, the market's uses and some of the features and we'll walk through that step by step. All right, and now what you can see is I'm actually a little bit reversed here. I'm gonna start on the right side of the screen, which is the five, um, showing the five uses and markets. And this is a graphic um, that could be, is available to you if, if you would like more information on it. But I'm gonna break off, you can read what's there on the screen, but just in talking about it, I would like to talk mostly, this piece is used right now. It's a very strong piece to go direct to consumer. It is also a very um, effective piece business to business. And many of you out there, uh, if, you're, if you know me and you've signed up for this, you're probably receiving plastic mailers from me from time to time that have my picture on it and, and do a lot of things. Um, talk about what we're doing here at WordCraft, and it's a business to business type use. What we found is right now in these times, um, the business to business is a little tough because not everybody's at their business. But the use of this mailer right now for direct to somebody's home, direct to consumer use, is actually up at the moment from the standpoint that there's more people at home. You know you're going to reach the person. So we should be taking advantage of direct mail. I can tell you that so far for the month of April, um, our, our highest volume product in our plastics division is the plastic mailer, which may be surprising, but it's because businesses right now, whether they're doing curbside, whether they're doing however form and factor they're trying to still generate revenue for their business, how they're trying to keep their message out, sending something to somebody's home right now is a very great way of doing that. So they're used for the promotion side. We see new mover mailers, we see membership. That's in the typical times right now, it's really about getting your message out and, and needs to still be taken advantage of. I think that one thing with the mailer that's very important is that there are components to the mailer that need to be there for the mailer to be effective. First of all, the plastic mailer works the best as a direct response mailer. That means I send this to you, you see it, you read it, and you take action. Um, it's not used as often as a branding type device. There's other types of direct mail that we can help you with that do that better than this type of piece. But what this works great with is when you have a message you wanna get out and you put a message on the piece, you put a call to action on the piece, and that is telling them what to do. How, I need you to come into our store, call, use my curbside service, whatever that is, and then follow that up with a great offer. He is a great offer must be there. So if you have the greatest call to action in the world, but you're not willing to do anything for them activating that, then the piece isn't gonna be as successful. Same way if you forget to the call to action, but you have a great offer, people aren't gonna know how to go get that offer. So it all comes hand in hand and it's key to making the piece successful. A few features that make all that work is if you see on the left side of the screen there, it talks about the variable data printing and it kind of shows that. In this piece, that is key. The better data you can provide, and the more data you can provide, the more personalized the piece can get. So imagine this, you saw when in the video, the mailbox opens and there's all kinds of letters and things in there. The plastic piece will jump out and get in your hand. It is a type of piece that people are gonna feel, notice, recognize, and they're gonna look at it. If you've just gotten the mail out of your mailbox and you have one of these, it feels so different. You're gonna look at it. If you take advantage of the variable printing and you put, the person's name on it. If you're in the automotive business, maybe you put 
information about the car they're currently driving because you have that data. Or if you're in the restaurant business and you know they're a steak customer versus a seafood customer, maybe you have information on there about the steak. It can be that driven by variable. If you have the data, it can speak directly to them. The more it speaks to them, the more they're gonna dive into the piece and read longer. Then comes that call to action and that has to jump out. The more interactive the piece can get. You'll notice we can put scratch offs on these. With a scratch off, you create something interactive. We can do different types of barcoding. We can do, um, and where the barcoding can help, it can be two ways. Barcoding could be how we're getting measurement out of the piece because the piece really needs to be measurable. You need to know you're getting the results that you think you're getting. So by putting barcoding on the piece, it can then be tracked when it's used at the location. Um, key tags are a great piece as different than a card because the key tag may have punches on it or maybe something that gets you into a fitness center. An oil change place could punch it five times and you get your sixth oil change free. And that is an element of loyalty so the idea is the piece's direct response, the card would get them to come to the quick lube place the first time, the key tag gets them to come back five more times. If your mailer gets somebody into somebody's location six times, your mailer was very effective. There's no way that the person, the, the end user of this could ever say, I don't think I had success with that mailer, if they know you got somebody in their business six times. And by putting all those elements in, the piece becomes very effective. You'll see um, a dressing area and all this printing of the address. I don't know if you can see that on the piece and it's kind of shown on the image there is that Wardcraft is a full, um, full service mailer with the US Postal Service. Um, not, not to mention that, I think we'll probably have several people that in the mailing world that are watching this. And I'll speak a little mail language for a second, although I'm trying to stay away from that a little bit, is Wardcraft is full e-induction. We are full service. We are seamless. Um, and those that are in the mailing world understand that. And what that means is that we do things right. I don't think um, everybody out there really realizes that it, with the postal service, there is a thing called a scorecard. And you have to score well in order to be given more freedoms in how you do your mail and how your mail is processed. And to hit the levels we have hit means we have had to have an excellent scorecard for several years in a row, which means we know what we're doing when it comes to mail. That's all that that means. Um, we process the mail correctly, we organize it correctly, we tray it correctly, and we get it inducted into the post office the best way possible. We often get questions on the plastic piece in how does it mail? If it's the small size, it's actually the size that fits postcard, but because of the thickness, it doesn't get a postcard rate. Where do they fall is the question we get. Again, for those that are in the mailing world that understand how all the rate system works, it qualifies as a letter. Um, Wardcraft does get the benefits of machine and automation discounts which not everybody does. With a plastic type piece, there were some rules and regulations changed, and there are some that are um, grandfathered into rates that others do not get. And again, some of this depends on where you're entering the mail and, and whether they'll actually um, hold to certain standards or not, but we know we can enter the mail anywhere and get those low rates, and not everybody in America can say that. Um, the piece itself, to get those rates, we, we sort, you're going to get standard. What that means to, in normal terms is if you send a piece and you pre-sort it, you can get postage in the mid 20 cent-ish kind of range for postage if you're doing marketing mail. We also have all the abilities to sort the mail down to carrier route discounts which can get you even lower postage if your data is set up correct for carrier route discounts. And that's things we can discuss outside of this. And that's getting more into the technical side than we really wanna go. So uh, just keep those things in mind that the bottom line from that part of the conversation is we will get you the best possible postage rates that can be gotten with the data and the piece you're choosing. 
Um, I think it also needs to be discussed. People often ask, what do, I, uh, what do I need to get you to make this work? And it's actually pretty simple. We wanna make this easy for you as a reseller. So what we say is you get us print ready artwork, you get us the list and the data that you want us to use, and we take care of the rest. You can see there the list of services we provide if you're looking at that graphic on the right hand side. CAS certification, that's a postal thing. NCOA, that's a postal thing. A lot of this has to happen automatically. There are things that you can choose. We do not automatically dedupe every list. That's remove the duplicates. Depending on the type of your mailing, you may want a mailer to go to each member of the home. You may not want a mailer to go to each member of the home. So it's up to you to, to help us out and let us know, do you want to dedupe? How do you want it processed? Are you doing first class? Are you doing marketing mail? What's happening? We also offer mail tracking. The mail tracking is nice because it can go down to the piece, which means when the mail goes out, if you have the tracking and you run the correct reports on the tracking, you can see when every piece of mail hit every home. For those of you that want to use additional software out there that's available, that means that that information can, can feed into something that can then trigger additional marketing based on response of when that piece hits the home. And that could be Facebook ads, that could be other digital. There's those types of services out there. Um, we prep the mail, we enter it into the post office, we take it in, we ship mail every single day. So we get this question a lot. The mail can enter here in Fort Scott at our plant location, but if it serves you better and it will reduce your cost to ship that mail to say Philadelphia and enter it in Philadelphia, we do that sort of mailing drop shipping every single day. So I think that it's good to know that that, that happens. Um, Wardcraft works hard to be your partner in this. And, and I'd like to change a graphic to a graphic that just kind of shows some of the things that we do as a company to help you out. And I don't think everybody realizes this, that how, how supportive Wardcraft wants to be and how much we really want to help you grow your business. Um, so there are a couple things we do. One is we do sales support and that graphic should be popping up now. You'll see the sales support. We changed the look of this because of what's going on right now. We really want as sales support, we wanna come out and visit you. We wanna come see you. We wanna help you grow your business. We want, if you need us, we wanna go make sales calls with you. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to do that right now. So we wanna do webinar trainings. We'd love to have Zoom meetings with you. We'd love to help you do a sales call with your end customer. And for those of you, I mean, I'm sure everybody on this understands, WordCraft is a trade only business. We're not in it to go after the end user. We're in it to help you land that business with the end user. And we would be happy to do that any way we can. Um, take advantage and, and use our knowledge and our understanding of the products to help you get the word out. Marketing can also do that. The marketing support we have is tremendous and I don't think we um, let people know well enough and we don't, there's so much help we can do. We can get you product images. You can put our product directly on your website. We can help you with templates for helping set up artwork. We have a sample library that has great samples for many industries, vertical market packets, um, specific product packets, and we can definitely get those right out to you. It's sitting ready to go. Um, we have sell sheets. You see our sell sheets. You see graphics like this webinar you're seeing today. We send out regular email blasts that many of you are probably getting. If you like anything in those and you think any of that is going to help you get it to your customer, we always have an on-branded version of it. That means it doesn't say Wardcraft on it anywhere. You can get that information and just get that right out to your customers, to your additional sales reps, to, to whoever you need to. And if you need help getting that branded to be your companies, we can help with that too. But we've learned that many of you just like the on-branded version and you like throwing your own logo on it and, and taking advantage of that and using that. Um, we have some self promo discounts. So if you wanna take our product, if you wanna do one of these mailings and see how it works and mail it to your end user base 
and you're using that mailer to promote WordCraft products and help bring business into WordCraft, by all means, we want to help you with a promo that will allow you to do that. Um, we also would love to help with in-store display. So any of you have a showroom out there and you have um, your products laid out and when customers come in, they get to see your showroom, we want to help with an in-store display that really promotes our products well. That's not just the mailer, that's all the products we're talking about all week. And, and all of this is to be taken advantage of for every product we're talking about. Um, the final one, and this is key in the mailing, and I think anybody out there that has done a lot of mailing in the past knows this inside and out, on-time delivery is so key in mail. If somebody is having a special promotion on a weekend, and that mail needs to hit on Thursday or Wednesday, we have to do our part to make sure that happens. Because if it hits on Monday and the sale was on Saturday, we've blown it for everybody. So in mail, that is really, really, really critical. Um, with all of the other products, we still want to help with that. One of the best things that can happen is come to us and let us know when it is needed and we will do everything we possibly can to help assist and make that happen. We've gone above and beyond so many times to help people through those times and we want to do that for you. So please, please, please take advantage of that. Um, we want to be your partner and we want to help you. I think right now what we're going to do is let's open this up a little bit for some questions and answers. See what kind of questions we got. I have to actually do this on a computer here. This is a little different. So if I shake it up, I'm sorry. But Okay, now I can see questions that are coming in and I can see what we have here. All right, I'm being asked about a few things and I think one of the questions, and I'm just gonna to try to make this for everybody's benefit. One of the questions that always gets asked is about quantity range on mail. Um, the quantity ranges that are effective in mail are from very small to very large. It really depends on your data and, and what you need to do. So I often like to speak on what some of the postal side of things are. And with the post office, if you do not have at least 200 pieces in this type of plastic mail, um, there is no discount that's offered. Actually, if you're under 200 pieces, we have to actually physically apply a stamp to it. When you get above 200 pieces, we can send Marketing classified mail does get a discount when it gets above 200 pieces. First class mail does not receive a discount until 500 pieces, but we can, we no longer have to use a stamp. We can print the uh, permit down to the 200 pieces. You just don't get the discount for the first class. But so with that, Typically, in this type of mail, if you're trying to reach out to people in your marketing, if your data doesn't have at least 200 pieces in it, oftentimes people are considering that kind of the minimum. It's not really our minimum to produce. We will produce less, we will stamp it, but if people are going to the trouble of creating such a nice looking piece with all the right information in plastic with all the targeted variable on it, and then throwing a stamp on it, sometimes that comes across um, not as glamorous and nice as it should. Another question this comes up a lot is who provides the mail list? And I mentioned in there that uh, the mail list is one of the things that the reseller will provide. And we often get questioned on that. We often get asked, does WordCraft produce or supply mail lists? And it is, if, if you need help with mail lists, we can help get you to some sources and some partners that can help with the mail list. It is something that we try to stay out of. We fear that if WordCraft is providing the list and we had 10, 12 um, resellers all asking for mail lists, we fear that everybody would end up with the same list. And, and we don't want that to happen either. So what we do is we can refer you to list companies that we feel confident about. But we also learn that many times your customer already has a list that may be a loyalty program list, birthday list, all these different things. It's very easy to obtain local um, new mover lists and, and all of those things. So the list is something that the reseller would provide. Looking to see, 
Okay, so I've been asked if we do any EDDM mailings with the plastic cards. And that has been brought up and yes, the answer to that is yes, we do EDDM mailings. Here is where, for those that don't know what EDDM mailings are, um, it, an EDDM mailing is a every door direct mail is what EDDM stands for. And it is a non-list mailing. So what you have to do is you have to go out and you actually go to usps.com and you go to their EDDM section and you pick the carrier routes that you want the mail to go to and it delivers to that entire carrier route. That's the most simple way to explain it. So in other words, the mail is never processed. Because it's never processed, it's done at a much lower cost and um, the postage is less. But the mail carrier just gets so many stuffed in their bag and um, once it's stuffed into the bag, they just put one in every mailbox as they walk their carrier route. The benefits to that is what most people think are the benefits is the lower costs. Now here's the downside to EDDM from a plastic mailer perspective. In order to do plastic mail and EDDM, we mail a lot of this size, you guys can see that. This is the size that is required to make it work EDDM. You have to go up to at least this size a piece. If you're any smaller than that, you're not going to qualify for EDDM because there are size requirements. By doing that, you're, you're moving yourself to a more expensive plastic piece because it is larger. So if you planned on doing larger anyway, that may be good. But you're also moving yourself to a lower postage rate. What a lot of people don't know is if you get a list of an area that is a saturation list, contains walk sequence data, we can sort that list and actually get your postage to the same rate as EDDM. And we can then use any size piece as opposed to the large piece. The other benefit is once you have the data, we can do all the variable stuff we talked about. So the minute that you go to EDDM, you lose the variable data target capability because you don't know whose mailbox which piece is going to end up in and you force yourself into the largest size. As long as you are fine with those two, EDDM is a wonderful way to get this piece out to many people. EDDM works great for some of the small local businesses like pizza places and um, those people that just really want to hit every house. There is no target market for a pizza place necessarily. We all eat pizza. It's everybody in the neighborhood. So you might as well canvas the neighborhood with the pizza. I hope that answers the question. Um, I have a few more people asking to reach out afterwards. We will definitely reach out afterwards. Um, I think you'll receive some email contact from us, but I'll make note of the people that are asking me to reach out personally, and I will. Here's what we want you to do next. If you would like, please request samples. We have great samples, the plastic mailer sample packet. We can get it right out to you. I would recommend get a full plastic sample pack, see the badges, see the other things we do. And um, plastics is a great area to grow your business if, if you're not already doing it. And if you are, uh, most of you that are on here are probably in the mail somehow. So you should be getting um, in your chat information on requesting samples, the forms for that. and We'll also send some email afterwards where you can request samples and you can always email me direct. My contact information is right there. My email address, reach out anytime. My phone number, it's our standard 1-800-821-4021. I'm extension 4132. Um, I also want to let you know we have a plastic sales extension that you can get anybody on the sales team at any time and that's extension, same phone number, extension 4805. So please reach out. Um, I appreciate everybody being here today. I will reach out to those who have asked me to and um, look forward to hearing from you and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.